And I rise in support of H.R. 1097, a bill that will award the Congressional Gold Medal to uh, Everett Alvarez, Jr. Uh, Madam Speaker, the Congressional Gold Medal is considered the highest civilian honor awarded in the United States. In the 248 years since the Continental Congress issued the first one to George Washington in 1776, only 184 have been awarded. That's fewer than one per year. So the distinction of awarding such an honor should not be lost on this 118th Congress. Madam Speaker, I cannot uh, thank, uh, I cannot think of someone more deserving of such recognition than retired United States Navy Commander Alvarez. As a boy growing up in Salinas, California, uh, Alvarez marveled at the naval planes flying overhead in and out of Moffett Field in nearby Santa Clara County. So in 1960, at the age of 22, ignoring his parents' protests, he followed his boyhood dream of joining the Navy and was selected for pilot training. On August 5, 1964, that dream turned into a nightmare when his uh, A-4 Skyhawk was shot down near the Vietnam-China border during Operation uh, Pierce Arrow. The then Lieutenant Junior Grade pilot was subsequently captured and imprisoned by the North Vietnamese forces. Commander Alvarez spent the next 3,113 days more than eight years and seven months in some of the most horrific conditions imaginable. Despite being beaten and tortured for information about U.S. military operations, Commander Alvarez refused to comply, saying he wanted to be able to look in the mirror and not feel ashamed. Even when his North Vietnamese captures, uh, captors no longer felt Alvarez held military intelligence value, they continued to brutalize him in attempts to extract propaganda messages. He did not cave. When he was finally released on February 12, 1973, he held the undesirable distinction of being the second longest held U.S. prisoner of war in our nation's history. Commander Alvarez left prison knowing he owed nothing more to his country, but more remarkably, he would go on to serve another seven years in the United States Navy. Today, at age 86, I believe that when Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. looks in the mirror, he sees only honor in his reflection. And that's what the American people see. Mr. Speaker, I thank my colleague, Mr. Panetta, uh, for introducing this bill, along with a multitude of sponsors. It's a massive amount of work to get a legislative product like this, uh, especially in a divided Congress and a divided time for America. But this is a source of unity and pride that Americans are willing to sacrifice for the American dream, their American dream, and their ideals in this free nation of ours. And because of the willingness of folks like Commander Alvarez, we do have this free nation, and we do have a sense of pride in being an American. Uh, I support this bill. I urge my colleagues to do the same. Uh, but again, I want to close by thanking Mr. Panetta for his thoughtful approach in building bipartisan consensus, not just on this, but overall in his policymaking skills. And so with that, um, I reserve the balance of my time.